Good evening, good evening. Hey, one time today, God is good and God is good all the time. My name is Emma Jazz Pierce Divine. I'm here to give you a word on tonight. Tonight, 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 you know, so the spirit of the servant of the law is on me. You know, because the law had known me to um, proclaim the good news to the poor, and he has set, sent me to blind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim the freedom for captivity and release from darkness um, from prison. You know, so, you know, Jesus had came down here as the light. You know, to preach to the poor, to preach to anyone that's brokenhearted and that in the darkness. You know, so in power of the Messiah, you know, ministry. Isaiah speaking for the Messiah. Now he announced that he is blessed and empowered by the Spirit of the Lord God. You know, so uh, to proclaim the year of the Lord favor and the day of vengeance um, of our God to comfort all who mom you know so god always have a set time set time for favor you know set time to free israel now from slavery you know he waited for 400 years you know he he waited he um have a set time for everything so that this is a set year you know for favor for um the israelite you know, so the day of vengeance is our God. God deal with vengeance. He don't want us to give revenge back on people. You know, so we'll come true when Jesus returns to earth. Again, we are now under God's favor and his will is yet to come. You know, so um, um, vengeance is God. And Jesus will be coming again. And they say, in the meantime, all the Israelite is under God's favor. You know, so, and provide, provide for those who grieve and Zion to bestow on them a crown of beauty. So they're going to get a crown of beauty instead of ashes. You know, the earl of joy instead of mourning. And a garment of prayer. Praise instead of spirit depart despair. Now they will be called the oaks of righteousness and planning of the law for display of his splendor. You know, so God telling them, I'm, you, you um a crown. I'm, I'm gonna give you a crown of beauty instead of ashes. Okay, I'm gonna give you an oil of joy instead of mourning. You know, I'm gonna give you a garment of praise instead of a uh, spirit of despair. You know, and they would be called the righteousness and plainness of the law or display of his splendor. You know, so it tells us that God received the most delight and honor and praise by using things that have been broken. And see, that's what God do. God will use a broken person. You know, I'm halfway broken. You know, God will take a broken person, you know, and restore that person inside and out. You know, God is doing some work in me. You know, he's doing a lot of time. I'm humble and I talk less. You know, that's God changing, changing me. He will change you. He will do some work, you, you know, in the inside of you. You know, and so by using things that have broken, he will use broken, broken heart. He will use anybody that's broken. And he'll, he'll define and dis destroy whatever the devil had used for evil. You know, so whatever the devil had used for evil, God turned it around for good. See, God can take anything that the devil is, is trying to break us with, trying to sabotage us with. God will take that same thing and use it for our good. You know, so they will rebuild the incense room and restore the places long to vaccinate. They will renew the wrong city. You know, and have been devastated for generation. You know, so their land was like destroyed. You know, but then God gonna come there, and He He gonna restore it right back. You know, Isaiah speak of rebuilding. 
you know, of all room. It have been it been sitting there for a while. Now this should encourage people whose lives are broken, you know, for the Lord. It is the work of rebuilding all rooms that he will restore broken lives. God will restore broken lives, broken marriages, you know, broken household, anything that broken, God can fix it. You know, now Isaiah was to be um, brought to run because of disobedience, you know, and so, so strangers, you know, so, so God saying strangers will shepherd your own flocks, you know, he said foreigners will work in your field, you know, and run y'all, you know, so God said, said sooner or later, strangers going to be working for you. You know, you don't have to be doing all this. So that's what God's saying. The prophet had told them that the nation of Israel should be prosperous and successful. You know, that the Israelite, the Israelite would no longer have to tend to their flocks, farm, and ran you They would be able to hide sooner or later. You will be able to hide somebody. For your phone. You ain't going to be able to tend to your flocks and all that. You ain't going to have to do that. Well, God's saying that you're going to be able to hire others to do those texts uh, for you. You know? So that's what God's saying. God said sooner or later, you, you're going you, to have strangers, you know, um, tending to your flocks. You know, tending to your fear. Meaning you're going to be able to hire somebody sooner or later to tend to all, all that stuff that you're going to have. have that, and all the stuff that you used to handle, you know, God said sooner or later you're going to be able to hire somebody to, um, to tend to your phone, everything else you um, normally do. And you will be called the priest of the Lord and you will name the minister of God. You know, that you will feed on the wealth of the nation and in their riches you will burst. You know, now he's saying under the old covenant. Now he's saying under the old covenant, God ordained the priests. Remember after, after he got Israel out, he saw, oh, he saw, he started naming, he, he picked out some priests. You know, it was Aaron, you know, and all his sons, you know. And of, of Israel and stand between him and his people. But now the sin have had to go under the new covenant. Now see the old covenant with Moses. You know now you're coming into the new co covenant. You know and everything is different now. Because see Jesus is supposed to be coming along. And then you, you ain't going to have to do the type of things that Abraham used to do. So everything gonna be under the new covenant. All believe, believers are priests of the law, reading God's word and seeking to understand. You know, it is a ministry to others. You know, so and so instead, instead of your shame, you know, you will receive a devil potion. You know, a lot of us in a storm, going through so much. You know, so much suffering, so much shame, so much everything. But God said, for your shame, you will receive devil portion, you know, and instead of disgrace. You know, you will receive, you will receive, you will rejoice in your inheritance, you know. And so you will inherit a devil portion, you know, in your land and everlasting joy will be yours. Now, so God telling me, sooner or later, I'm going to have some joy. I'm going to have some happiness. You know, I'm going to enjoy my inheritance. And, you know, that's what he's telling the Israelites. You're going to get a devil portion. You know, you know, if, you, if Israel and them have shame, they're going to get devil portion. You know, uh, and if his people repent, you know, he will redeem them. You know, forgive them and restore them and bless them. You know, this shame and disgrace will come to an end. So you're in a storm, you know, and you, you've been in shame and um, disgrace. But God said sooner or later, he's telling Israel, like, sooner or later, it's going to come to an end. You know, this too should pass, you know. And so they will have a devil portion, you know, in the land and wealth. Their job will be forever. You know, see when God restore you. Give you devil portion for your shame. He's saying, in other words, God's saying your joy you're going to receive, your happiness that you're going to receive, it's going to be forever. 
you know. And so we see the Israelite also um, had this share of misery, you know, because this could be chosen and this could be under God care, you know, God gonna still allow us to go through something because he want us to be a healing to someone else. He want the Israelite to be a healing to, see Israel and I really supposed to spread that to other nations and they didn't. <clears throat> You know, wherever people was under them, because a lot of nations used to come under them, just like that girl. She she wasn't an Israelite. She was a Samaritan, but she used to hang over there with the Israelite. And that's how she knew about God. You know, but they were supposed to spread that to all the nations. You know, but they didn't. You know, so they went through a lot of misery, you know, from being disobedient uh, to God. And the necessary... <clears throat> Had swept them from their homeland. You know, they kept on getting put out of their own land. You know, God had given them their own land and they kept getting put out of their own land. You know, they were destroying all the loving and everything. You know, as I, uh, as I um, predicted, joy was ahead. You know, all the misery and shame. You know, and, and so Isaiah, you know, he prophesied there will be joy. There will be joy. You know, so that's why I tell everybody, you know, to uh to dream. When you in that storm, it seems like there's no ending. You know, you have to dream. You know, dream the happy life. Dream of everything that you want. You know, it will give you some kind of joy. It will give you some kind of uh uh, uh like this this gonna be over with. You know, you have to dream. You know, you have to dream so you can see the jaw ahead, you know. And so God planning to exchange their mourning to despair, you know, their gladness to praise. You know, so God will rescue his people, will be living demonstration, you know, to all his splendor. You know, now we each suffer, you know, in our own misery. Everybody suffers in their own misery. You know, we think things would never change. And that's what it seemed like. It seemed like things ain't going to never change. You know, but I'm just telling you, don't never quit. You know, don't never tr quit. You know, just keep on praying, keep on fasting, and keep on dreaming until you see joy ahead. You know, and that's what Isaiah told them. He predicted that there is joy. We'll have joy ahead. <clears throat> You know, for I, the Lord, love justice, but I hate robbers, you know, wrongdoing. And in my faithfulness, I will reward my people, you know, and make an everlasting um, covenant with them. You know, that's what he did with Abraham. Even after that, he, he still, he still um, that covenant is covered with, uh, with the Israelites, you know. And so we suffer for many reasons. We suffer for many reasons. You know, one. Our own mistakes, you know. Two, someone else's mistake, you know. Three, injustice, you know, because sometimes you can be in the right and you need justice. And God, because God sees everything what you go through, and He will deal with that. And sometimes um, we go through pain and suffering for other mistakes that we made, you know, dealing with other issues, you know, and then our own mistake, you know, and then sometimes everything will be against you. You know, where you're going to need justice. You know, and that's what God come in. God is our judge, our, do our doctor, the lawyer. You know, and so when we suffer because of injustice, you know, with God mercy, will one day deliver his people from all suffering. He will reward those who suffer because of unjust. Some of us, you know, deal with so much unfairly. You know, dinner was with injustice, you know, and God sees what you go through. He sees what you go through, and he will He will settle all accounts, you know. And so their deceiving, you know, will be known among the nation and their offspring among the people. You know, now all who see them will acknowledge that they are people the Lord has blessed. And see what God saying? God said all the nations. See, when he blessed the Israelites, 
He wants the people from all other nations to see how blessed the Israelite is. So, so they can say nobody but God did that. Nobody but God. And that's what he said. He said, all who see them, they will acknowledge that they are the people under God. That's God people as blessed. And see, and see, and they are the spiritual seed. They are the spiritual seed of Abraham. You know, or uh, Abraham as well as his corner seed. Now, are blessed with him, blessed with all his spiritual blessing in Christ, and with the faith in him, and we, every other grace, you know, all other nations will see how Israel is blessed. And that's what God's saying. All the nation will see how blessed the Israelite is, you, you know, uh, and they would know that nobody but God did it. And see, that's what that's what it is. There was a miserable so long. There was uh, a shame, you know, because they was getting put out of their own um, nation, their own land, you know, being oppressed, you know. So there was a shame, you know, because they be the they supposed to be the powerful nation. You know, nobody, no other nation can um, master them. But then they let people defeat them. You know, put them out there, um, put them out their land, oppress them. So there was a shame that went through misery. You know, but they did a lot of it for themselves because they kept serving other gods. But God said, "Don't serve other gods." And so God left them alone from serving other gods, and that's how they got caught up in so much misery. You know, but God said. God said, I'm about to change all that. You know, I'm about to restore this, this land back up. You know, and I'm about to bless you. You know, and then sooner or later, other people, you know, strangers, you know, you're going to be hiring other strangers and, and everybody else, you know, is going to be tending to your own phone. You, you know, and so you ain't got to worry about tending tend to your land no more. You know, other people are going to be doing it. You know, and so other people going to come from the other nature. They're going to see how blessed you are. You're going to see how people working for you and stuff. And they're going to say, nobody but God did this. Thing. You know, seeing your business growing. Seeing you driving cars and, and doing all this other stuff. Nobody, when you will drop bottom to the ground. Israel now will drop bottom to the ground. The land was all tore up and destroyed. You know, there was no way out. You know, nobody can God, you know, can take all the broken pieces and, and put it back together. Put all the broken pieces back together, you know, um, and, and change your mind and, 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 and make you feel better and give you some joy, give you some happiness. You know, you, you, you'll start seeing joy at the end of the time. You're going to see light at the end of the time. You know, because God don't care, don't care how much of the fascination that, that your land is. No, don't care, don't care about how, how broken you destroy you. I, I was just so broken, you know. God likes to take all this brokenness and, you know, and put it back together. You know, because God is doing some work in me. He's doing some work in me, but I, I talk less. You know, I, I don't run off at the mouth. God to calm me down. You know, God know how to, you know how to put all these broken pieces together. You know, and, and so that's what he doing for the Israelite. He doing for the Israelite. Now, I delight greatly in the Lord. Now, my soul rejoice in my God. Now, for he has clothed me with garment of salvation and uh, array me in a robe of his righteousness as a bridegroom. You know, adore his head like a priest and as a bride adore herself with you. You know, so let me see what they're talking about. Now, they're talking about he testified to the heart of God. Now, who graciously clothes God's spiritual people. See, that's what we say. He fixing their heart you know, he, he closing over spiritual. See, see that land, see, the Israelite supposed to be spiritual. You know, they're supposed to be spiritual. No land, not no nation now you're supposed to be like them. They're supposed to be different. You know, the spiritual people in salvation, in righteousness, in spite of the circumstances, Isaiah is determined to delight greatly and rejoice in his God. You know, no while the imagining of of the bride is used to despite God people. 
So they use the head, the head bridegroom in the scripture and they use instead of, of God people. So they're still talking about God people. You know, for as the serve, you know, make the sprung come up in, in a garden called seed to grow. And so the servant, Lord, who make righteousness and praise spring up before all the nation. Now, the righteousness and salvation of his people through Christ, by which they shall be justified and saved. You know, God will make them justified and saved in an account of which they should praise the Lord and should be honored. You know, and so, and so, uh, and praise themselves being interested in those blessings. In the sight of all Christian nation across them. Now we're gonna sum it up with the law, the year of the law of favor. God will give freedom to those in prison, you know, meaning darkness. You know, by these difficult, you know, God desire to turn lives and run, you know, in personal life filled with beauty. Now Sometimes you're in misery, you know, nothing is going right, you, you know, you're going down, you're going down here, you know, and, and it just it just seems like it ain't nothing is coming together. It doesn't even seem like the story is going to end. But God said well, after he get through with you, he's he going to fill you up with beauty. You know, he, God said this darkness, devastation, and, and all this kind of stuff that you're going with, brokenness. God can take and fix all that. He can rebuild your land. He can rebuild you. And, and, and you, you will rejoice. You will be filled. Your, your life will be filled with beauty. And you can't even imagine, you know, because of what you've gone through. You know, but God said, I can give you beauty. Your life going to be beautiful. That's what they keep telling me. You, you Sooner or later, your life going to be beautiful. But then you can't see it. But like I said, you got to dream and imagine. I'll be, I be dreaming. Then I, I, I'm living that life. You know, now he wants to replace the morning. Morning with laughter. All that crying. Morning over this and that. You know, just he going to turn into laughter. Just like Sarah. Sarah laughed. She laughed. When God said, I'm going to give you a baby by the same time next year. She busts out and laughed. You know, but when that time came, she had that baby. So God had turned her laugh into laughter. You know, now he, now he, um, and he wanted to turn their cry into despair, into a song of praise. All that crying. All that crying is that pain and misery. You know, so God say, I'm going to turn that cry. I'm going to turn your pain and I'm going to turn it to a song of praise. You know, I'm going to turn it to songs of praise. And see, that's what David did. David was in so much pain, running around from Saul, running around from his enemy and his son. But they didn't stop him. He still had a praise of joy in his heart. He still had a praise of joy in his heart. He was just still writing. You know, and that's something, that's what everybody say. You still have a pure heart. After all that you're going through, you got to keep a good heart. You cannot want to be bent. Uh, I'm going to get in power. I need to do this, do that. No, you still need to walk with God the right way. You know, keep your heart right. You know, no matter what you go through, no matter what David was going through, David kept joy in his heart. He wrote songs with joy. He went through misery. He went through everything. But he kept his heart with joy. Kept his heart with joy in his heart. He had multiple times to kill Saul. But he, he said he, he respect God proper. And said to me he had a good heart. He had a good heart. He didn't want to touch God properly. You know, and so, and that's what he said. He go, oh, all your cries will be um, put in songs of praise. Songs of praise. You can't see it right now. You can't see it right now. You know, but Isaiah said, I predicted ahead of him. I predicted ahead that you got joy, you know, ahead of us. You got laughter ahead, ahead of us. You know, and we just have to match. I just have, I meditate every morning. You know, I dream that life, and it just seems so real until you wake up. You know, but that keep you going. That keep you going. You know, that's keep you with hope. 
You know, that you got to keep that joy and, and joy some kind of way. You got to see, you got to see yourself getting out of there. You got to see yourself one day freedom because God will give us freedom. He will give, give us freedom. The ones who are in darkness, who are having difficulty, you know, or shame, despair, injustice. You know, he will give you free one of these days. So you got to realize and, and make up your mind that, that, that God going to give us freedom. You know, it's like they just kept on praying. God heard them. They was crying. God heard them. You know, and he came and rescued them and gave them freedom. You know, and sometimes, sometimes it might take long, sometimes it might take short. You know, and sometimes God is just sitting around and waiting to to you um go go have a position on prayer. I put that out the other day about this this lady and the judge that wanted to uh, assist her, but she kept on praying. She kept on praying. You know, she ain't worried about that no. She kept on praying till she got a yes. And you got to keep on praying till God showed up. You know, when God showed up, you got to keep praying till God showed up. You know, because He will give us. Freedom, he will get us unjustice. Whatever your case was that kept you crying and moaning every night, he will, if it's unjustice, you know, he's not going to give you uh, if your, your mistake. You have to repent for your mistake and other mistakes. Other people, you got to repent on that. But if it's unjustice that you that caused your pain, and God will, will be your lawyer, he will be your judge. And he will give he will deal with all that cause you pain with that unjust. He will answer that. He will answer uh, that prayer. You know, he will he will replace it with laughter. He will place it, he'll place it with laughter. He will place it with a song of praise. You know, so uh that's all I have for today. You know, the year of the law favor. The Israelite was a seed, was a seed of Abraham. You know, and no matter how God left them alone for a while, but he never left them alone forever. You know, he always came back and rebuilt their life, you know, and turned their life back into, into what it was before, you know. And so also, um, you can schedule Bible study. All my information will be down below. You can schedule Bible study, you know, to learn God's word and get closer to God. You know, and that's the first thing you have to do. Uh, read God's word to get closer to God. You know, and once you once you read that word and know them stories, you know, and that's how you get close. Uh, you get closer to God. You know, spiritual healing. You know, do a spiritual fasting. You know, uh, uh, you can book a reading. Predict I can predict your future. You know, just like Isaiah predicted happiness. You know, ahead. You know, I can predict that too, so you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. You know, missing divine. You know, uh, if anyone have someone to locate that been missing a long time, you know, and the police just can't, couldn't find them. You know, and so you can have the uh, person picture and their name, and you can drop it on my own TikTok account. You know, and make sure you leave your name and phone number on in my email. So I can give you a call right back. So that's all I have for you today. That God can take any broken heart. I'm talking to myself. He can take anybody that's broken. If your land broken, your house broken, you know, you're miserable and you're crying and all these things. And we saw that God had took all that they was going to and turned it to life. You know, and turned it to beautiful, something beautiful. That's what they keep telling me. One day it's going to be so beautiful. And you're just going to look back on what all you went to. What all you went to. And you say, it was all worth it. You know, so that's what I have for you today. You know, you have a blessed day. And I'll see you on the next video.